Welcome to the Stations of the Cross with Holy Name of Mary Catholic Chapel. Also, a very blessed St. Patrick's Day to you all. Let us pray. Grant, we implore you, Almighty God, that as year by year we devoutly observe the way of the Holy Cross, we may be pleasing to you in body and soul, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. Consider how Jesus, after having been scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. Lord, have mercy. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. Consider how Jesus, in making this journey with the cross on his shoulders, thought of you, thought of me, thought of each of us, and offered himself to his Father. Lord, have mercy. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The third station. Jesus falls for the first time. Consider this first fall of Jesus under his cross. His flesh was torn by the scourges, his head crowned with thorns, and he had lost a great quantity of blood. He was so weakened that he could scarcely walk, and yet he had to carry this great load upon his shoulders. The soldiers struck him rudely, and thus he fell several times along his journey. Lord, have mercy. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The fourth station, Jesus meets his holy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary. Consider the meeting of the Son and the Mother, which took place on this sorrowful journey. Jesus and Mary looked at each other, and their looks became as so many arrows to wound those hearts which loved each other so tenderly. Lord, have mercy. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
the fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry the cross. Consider how the soldiers, seeing that at each step Jesus took was weakening him to the point of expiring, and fearing that he would die on the way when they wished him to die the death of the cross, constrained Simon of Cyrene to carry the cross behind our Lord. Lord, have mercy. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The sixth station, St. Veronica wipes the precious face of our Lord and Savior. Consider how the holy woman named Veronica, seeing Jesus so afflicted and his face bathed in sweat and blood, presented him with a towel with which he wiped his adorable face, leaving on it the impression of his holy countenance. Lord, have mercy. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. Consider the second fall of Jesus under the weight of the cross a fall which renews the pain of all the wounds of his head and members of our afflicted Lord. Lord, have mercy. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. Consider how those holy women wept with compassion at seeing Jesus in such a horrifying and pitiable state, streaming with blood as he walked along. But Jesus said to those women, Weep not for me, but for your children. Lord, have mercy. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The ninth station, Jesus falls for the third time. Consider the third fall of Jesus Christ. His weakness was extreme, and the cruelty of his executioners was excessive. They tried to hasten his steps when he scarcely had the strength to move.
Lord, have mercy. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The tenth station, Jesus is disrobed. Consider the violence with which the executioners stripped Jesus. His inner garments adhered to his torn flesh, and they dragged them off so roughly that his skin came with them. Offer compassion to your Savior that was cruelly treated, and confess your sins to him. Lord, have mercy. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The eleventh station, Jesus is crucified. Consider how Jesus, after being thrown down on the cross, extended his hands, and willingly offered to his eternal Father the sacrifice of his death for the salvation of all the world. These barbarians fasted him with nails, and then, raising the cross, allowed him to die in anguish and pain. Lord, have mercy. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. Consider how Jesus, after three hours' agony on the wood of the cross, consumed at length with anguish, abandons himself to the weight of his body, bows his head, crying out to his Father, It is finished, and then he dies. Lord, have mercy. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. Consider how, after the death of our precious Lord, Two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, took him down from the cross and placed his body in the arms of his afflicted mother, who received him with tenderness and pressed him to her bosom. Lord, have mercy. 
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The fourteenth and final station of the cross, Jesus is buried in the tomb. Consider how the disciples, with so very much love and care, took the body of Jesus to the tomb to bury it, accompanied by his most holy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, who arranged the body of her son in the sepulcher with her very own hands. Then they closed the door of the tomb and all withdrew. Lord, have mercy. Together with confidence, let us call upon God our Father, as Jesus our Lord and Savior has commanded us to do. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Our Lady of Sorrows, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.